hello everyone in today's tutorial i am going to teach you how you can make this classroom and all its furniture so to make this classroom and all its furniture let's open the blender app after opening the blender app delete the camera and light after deleting this select the cube then adjust the scales along x y and z axis along x axis i will make it 10 and along y axis i will make it 10 and along z axis make it 6 after this select this cube then go to the edit mode then select this face selector select this front face then select this top face after this delete these faces once again go to object mode select this surface then go to modified setting and add a solidify modifier after adding the solidify modifier increase the thickness and then mark this even thickness option so this model will be used as a classroom next step is to add material to the classroom for this i will use an extension for the blender which is polygon.com go to the google then search polygon then you can download all the textures and material for the blender used from this polygon extension and then you can go to the edit mode go to the preferences and in the add-on setting you can install the polygon extension on blender after installing the polygon extension you will find it right here now select this polygon here you will find all the textures and materials for the blender use so i have selected this surface and in the polygon extension i will apply this material click on the apply to apply this material go to the shader view to see the effects now you can see that floor and walls of the classroom are properly materialed now close this polygon extension next step is to make chair and table for the classroom for this once again go to the google then search the sketch fab after searching the sketch fab you will find all the important textures and materials for the blender use from here you can download table chair whiteboard bookshelf and other furniture from the sketch fab after downloading them in the glb file i will import all these textures in the blender go to the import then click on the glb file right here you will find all the downloads from the sketch fab select the file then click on the import to import it in the blender app after this process and scale it down like this after this select the rotate tab and rotate the table and chair after this select this move tab and move the chair where you want to place it after importing one chair and table you don't have to import again and again this furniture just press shift d to duplicate it then press g and then press y to move it along the y axis like this once again press shift d then press g then press y to move it along the y axis once again press shift d then press g then press y to move it along the y axis like this after making four tables and chair i will simply click on all these tables and chair to duplicate them and then i will make a row of table and chair for this i will just select this material then press h to hide it and then i will select all these tables and chair select one chair then press a to select all of them after this press shift d then press g then press x to move it along the x axis like this adjust the table and chairs location once again press shift d to duplicate them then press g to move them then press x to move them along the x axis once again press shift d then press g then press x to move them along the x axis after this press alt h so you can see classroom again after this select the classroom design then go to the scale increase the x axis scale and make it 14 after this i am going to make the table for the teacher use once again go to the import then import the glb file which you have downloaded from the sketch fab let's import this table then press s to scale it down like this so i will simply delete this chair and will use this table select this table now press s to scale it up like this press s then press x to scale it up along the x axis like this now once again press s then press y to scale it up along the y axis now once again press s and scale it down and rotate it after this select this move tab and move the table to the location where you want to place it so the class table for the teacher use is ready next step is to make whiteboard for the class use 
once again go to the import then go to the glb file and import the glb file of the class whiteboard then press s to scale it down like this after this select this rotate tab and rotate the whiteboard then select the move tab and move the whiteboard toward the wall where you want to place it disable the overlay option then select the move tab and move the whiteboard to the proper location so the whiteboard for the classroom is ready next i'm going to make window for the wall let's import the window file go to the import setting then click on glb file then import the class window which we have downloaded from the sketchfab import it then press s and scale down it like this and move it toward the wall and adjust its position after importing the clock press s to scale it down then select the rotate tab and rotate the clock like this then select this move tab and move the clock toward the wall go to the glb file then import the class bookshelf which we have downloaded from sketchfab now press s to scale it up then select the rotate tab and rotate the bookshelf then select this move tab and move the bookshelf where you want to place it click on the class marker then import them then press s and scale up them like this then then select the move tab and move them toward the table and place them on the table so board markers for the board use are properly placed on the table next i'm going to import the book for the teacher table go to the import setting and import the book from the downloads which we have downloaded from the sketchfab then press s and scale it down like this and rotate it after this select the move tab and move the book toward the table and place it to a proper location now i'm going to import the trash bin and a flower vase for the class decoration after importing it press s and scale down it like this after this select this move tab and move the trash bin where you want to place it and import the flower vase and then move the flower vase where you want to place it after this press shift d to duplicate it then press g and then press x to move it along the x axis and place it right here once again press shift d then press g and then press y to move it along the y axis like this and place it right here so flower vase for the class decoration is ready next i'm going to make class door for this go to the import setting and then import the glb door file which you have downloaded from the sketchfab press s and scale down it then select this rotate tab and rotate it move the door where you want to make the class door and place the door to a proper location so door for the classroom is ready and all the required things for a classroom are properly placed on their location next you have to go to the shader view to see the effects now in the shader view you can see all the objects are properly colored so in this way you can make a classroom without its required furniture hope you enjoyed the video if you enjoyed the video show your reaction in the comment section and if you want our services connect us on the linkedin see you in the next video bye bye